These three quartz crystals in my hand are common natural quartz crystal structures. The first one is a Himalayan Nirvana crystal that form a complete crystal from the tip to the root without any shape changing. This one is a Muzo crystal from Colombia. It is obviously a complete crystal, either. The last one is a Pakistani crystal, which has a standard hexagon prism body without any shape changes on it. There is a common characteristic for the three crystals, which is that they are all formed by once crystallization procession. How about scepter crystals? The difference is that scepter quartz crystal is formed by secondary crystallization. The second crystallization occurred after the first crystallization due to changes in temperature and minerals in the crust. Usually, the secondary crystallization grow up from the tip of the previous form crystal and formed a larger crystal than the primary crystallization crystal, resembling the scepter of a king. Therefore, we name this type of crystal a scepter crystal. All the natural quartz crystals in front of us are all scepter crystals. They come from different countries, including China, Madagascar, Pakistan, Zimbabwe, Nigeria, and so on. Let's take a look one by one. This one is an amethyst scepter crystal. At first glance, it looks like a mushroom, with the upper part being amethyst. and the lower part being a clear quartz crystal hexagonal prism. Actually, scepter crystals are commonly found in amethysts. The next one is also a scepter amethyst. It's larger and also a combination of upper amethysts and lower clear quartz. In general, the center of the secondary crystal will deviate from the previous crystal and their geometric centers are not on a straight line. These five perfect clear quartz crystals are Light Amethyst Super 7 from Brazil. They're so clear that the rough outline of the first crystalline crystal inside can be seen clearly. The twice crystals are both very clear. The hexagonal prism of the previous crystal is exposed to the outside. The secondary crystal has gophite and rudial included. The interface between the two crystals forms a cavity due to the mixing of air, making the contact face of the two crystals clearly visible. The next one is a Tantric Twin Scepter Super 7 Amethyst. One first crystalline crystal with two tips at secondary crystallization. This one is also a twin scepter amethyst with a slightly tabular clear crystal at the bottom and two similar sized amethyst crystals at the top. This twin scepter amethyst is relatively rare. This is a scepter amethyst geode from Zimbabwe. It is obvious that clear crystals have grown from the quartz foundation. Some have not undergone secondary crystallization, while others have undergone secondary crystallization to form amethysts. There is a smaller double terminated floating scepter crystal. The next one is a scepter amethyst crystal cluster. 
The peculiar thing is that these crystals grow together like petals in bud. It can also be said that it is a spherical crystal cluster. We will see another spherical crystal clusters in the subsequent showcase. This is a skeletal scepter amethyst. Skeletal crystals always give me a very ancient feeling, like a millennium old tree of life, gazing at the vicissitudes of human life. This one is a scepter golden amphibole quartz crystal. Its color is very beautiful. In general, secondary crystallization is caused by changes in the crystal growth environment and minerals, so the types of crystals in secondary crystallization are different from those in primary crystallization. But there are exceptions, for example, the next crystals are all clear crystal. The lower part is a slender clear quartz at hexagonal prism, and the upper part is a trigonal habit clear quartz crystal. It's rare. The next one is also a completed clear quartz scepter crystal. It's a Fenster Golden River Tumble Quartz Crystal. The surface of the crystal have been turning gold under the long-term erosion of the river. It has a sense of time. This large one is a Golden Aura Himalayan Scepter Quartz Crystal. It is covered by hematite on the surface with rainbow luster. It is obvious that the lower part is clear quartz and the upper part is smoky quartz. The first crystal is a standard hexagonal prism. This one is a scepter ametrine quartz crystal under torch light, but it will be considered as a black crystal under room light. It's a light smoky quartz for the first crystal and dark ametrine for the second crystal. It's also a Fenster quartz crystal. These two skeletal quartz are scepter crystals from Madagascar with red soil included. The first crystallized crystal is clear crystal and does not contain any fluorescent substances. The second crystallization of the crystal contains fluorescent substances. This is a rare scepter quartz crystal cluster. There are many hexagonal habit scepter crystals growing on the base plate. This scepter quartz crystal is a spherical amethyst crystal clusters. Its first crystallized crystal is clear quartz covered gray mineral. The second crystallization grew from the top of the crystal comes to a spherical crystal clusters. 
The last one is a Himalayan Golden Scepter Quartz. Especially, its upper crystal has grown into a complete double terminated crystal. We can infer that the crystal at the bottom did not stop growing after the first crystallization from its shape, but continued to grow into crystal clusters. It's a large and perfect scepter quartz crystal. These are all the scepter quartz crystals. If I encounter some rare crystals in the future, I will make more videos to share. Thank you for watching. Welcome to subscribe my channel. Goodbye.